radiation pneumonitis is a uh, quite common toxicity after radiotherapy for thoracic malignancies. Um, it can occur in around 20% of patients or so uh, after radiation treatment. And about half of patients who experience radiation pneumonitis uh, will go on to have subsequent uh, acute pulmonary exacerbations. So that can involve uh, cough, shortness of breath, um, or can even require supplemental oxygen. And in the long term, um, it can progress to permanent decline in pulmonary function as a result of fibrosis um, uh, that results in, in the late stage of the disease. So the, the current standard of care for radiation pneumonitis um, is a long uh, taper of steroids, uh, but there's really a lack of prospective studies um, to guide treatment uh, for this disease. So um, I'm reporting the results of a phase two randomized placebo-controlled trial uh, where we tested the efficacy of nintedinib plus a prednisone taper compared to placebo plus a prednisone taper for the treatment of radiation pneumonitis. And uh, nintedinib is a multiple tyrosine kinase inhibitor that's approved for use in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. And this shares some of the same signal transduction pathways and its pathophysiology with radiation pneumonitis. Um, which is why we used it in this study. So patients were enrolled who had grade two or higher radiation pneumonitis, and they were treated with an eight week taper of prednisone in combination with either nitetinib or placebo. Uh, the target enrollment for the study was 68 patients, but the trial was stopped early due to slow accrual. Um, the final enrollment was 34 patients and 30 of them were analyzable for the primary endpoint, which was freedom from pulmonary exacerbations at one year. So we found that 72% of patients in the nintendinib arm were free from exacerbation at one year compared to 40% in the placebo arm. Uh, however, this difference was not statistically significant, though there was a trend towards benefit from nintendinib with a p-value of 0 0.07. Um, the most common side effect in the nintendinib arm was diarrhea, but there were no grade 4 or grade 5 side effects that were related to the drug. So overall, this trial did not reach significance for the primary endpoint. Um, but it's uh, important to note that the majority of patients in the placebo arm did experience acute pulmonary exacerbations um, after their initial diagnosis of radiation pneumonitis, despite receiving the standard of care treatment with a long taper of uh, oral prednisone. So this, again, emphasizes the need to improve treatment outcomes for radiation pneumonitis and the trend uh, that we saw towards significance in the nintendinib arm likely warrants additional evaluation of this drug uh, in the treatment of this disease, too.